Yesterday, the San Francisco 49ers pulled the plug, pulled the trigger, getting Christian McCaffrey from the Carolina Panthers. I thought he was going to end up actually with their division rival with the Rams. I felt like that made a lot of sense. I didn't think that solved all the Rams' issues. I, I, I talked about it in legit or quit, but I thought it made a lot of sense for the Rams to do that. They're, they're missing that element in the run game. Their offensive line is struggling, which is a big part of that. Um, but the San Francisco 49ers go out and get him, and I think that is absolutely massive. This is like a first – this is a run-first team that is not desperate, but if they could get a top five running back like this – it already I thought was going to be like a Super Bowl-caliber team, but now it is most certainly in the Super Bowl conversation. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Um, I mean, that team is just stacked. Now. It's stacked. I mean – they already like they were doing really well, even without their number one back, Elijah Mitchell. And rip to all, uh, all Eli Mitchell fantasy owners, like this gentleman right I here. I have him in two leagues. Yeah. Elijah Mitchell, if you are watching this by any chance, Hi. please request a trade. He's not going anywhere. Please request a trade. He's, That's the only way you're getting traded out of there, buddy. He's not going to, he's probably not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere uh, it, unless you request. It, and if you request, then maybe. Uh, but I don't think it's going to happen. Regardless, going back. He's, so he's, the, the 49ers were already doing well uh, without, you know, their top <laughs> running back. Yeah. And we already know how much that offense already opens up when they have Mitchell there. Because he's the only one that they really have that can, well, before this trade, that, that could pass, catch, and run the ball. Now, you were telling me, oh, the, he's probably going to split time because they have Tevin Coleman who can catch the ball and Jeff Wilson who can run the ball. Well, now they have now they got a, running, now they got a top dog. Now they got a top dog who, who can not only run, who can not only catch, but he can line up almost anywhere on the field, and he can still block for you too. Like now, your only really concern is his injury history. Um, he has been a little injured so far this season, but he's played every game. Um, but I mean, he's just like the epitome of a Shanahan ran offense. Like he is what they envision yeah. in a running back in that offense. Why do you think they use Debo so much in the backfield? Yeah. And it's crazy to me. I never even considered this a possibility, but then when it actually happens, it makes so much sense. Like we've seen like the memes come out now that they're going to use McCaffrey as a wide receiver, Debo as a running back and use check as a tight end, just to under throw his IU. Like that paints a picture of what they do with this offense. They love versatile players and Christian McCaffrey's in terms of running backs arguably the most versatile running back in the league that you could have do literally everything. And when you have a quarterback like Garoppolo, that's what you need. We always talk about the Dolphins on the show. I'm sorry, we're Dolphins fans. The Dolphins did what the 49ers are doing by they have their quarterback who is, is limited, isn't the most athletic, doesn't have the best arm in the world, but they go and surround him with weapons, bringing Tyreek Hill, drafting Jalen Waddle, Mike Kosicki with the Miami Dolphins. 49ers, they already had most of that. They've done a great, drop, great job drafting. And now you add Christian McCaffrey. You're already the best team in your division. In my opinion, outside of the Eagles, you're the best team in the NFC. To me, you're, you're even though they lost last week to the Falcons, yeah, and that's what you're going to get. You're going to get games with, with Garoppolo where he's not able to elevate the rest of the team when, you know, like they have an early fumble in the game that they, uh, ends up being scored as a touchdown. They're, up, they're down 14 nothing. Garoppolo's not the quarterback that's going to bring you back. But if you can control the game, your defense is playing well on the other side of the ball, Garoppolo can win you games. Garoppolo can get to a Super Bowl. And now you give him one of the best running backs in the league. He's probably not going to play too much this week. But when he does come back and play, this is arguably the best offense in the league. And, oh, by the way, you're getting Trent Williams back in a few weeks, the best left tackle in the league. So he's kind of like a new addition, too, because they've been playing most of the season without him. Who's Who really is better than the 49ers once they get fully healthy? Once they get fully healthy. I, I Who's know. better though? I, it, I like it, them over everybody. I, I really do. And I, I mean, you already know how much I really like Ayuk. And that's not even just from a fantasy perspective. Like just watching him on the field, he is a true number one receiver out there running the routes against top DBs. And arguably, you know, he's getting more open against these top DBs than other ones that have played against the same DBs. Like he's gotten more open against uh, Jalen Ramsey than. Uh, other wide receivers, I might add. <laughs> I mean, given Stefan Diggs did toast Ramsey first game of the season, but, you know, uh, regardless. Um, Ayuk is looking really good. Debo is Debo. I mean, Christian McCaffrey is Christian McCaffrey. Like, 
And then George Kittle's finally getting healthy. Yeah, you saw, you saw him get more. Now. He has he's got more more, more targets, balls. more involved in the offense. And I mean, they're they're down Nick Bosa right now, but he, they're gonna get him back too. Yeah. I mean, it's a just a really well coached defense, a really well coached offense. It's just that, and we had a little argument in our chat a little bit, and I think this year, I'm not saying overall, I'm saying this year, Kyle Shanahan is the better coach than Sean McVay. And, yeah, McVay has made two Super Bowls, and they, they have a depleted roster. But, I, you know, m- maybe that maybe that's a hot take. I, I'm not sure if I'm willing to go quite that far uh, because the Rams do have a lot of issues, like the offensive line is atrocious. They don't have another wide receiver outside of Cooper Cup. They, they have nobody that can take the top over. Allen defense. Robinson. Sucks. Um, He's open. Kind of. Like, kind of. He's one of those receivers that you don't really need to be open to throw to. Uh, he's lost his step. When he was when he was at Jacksonville he was in, early on with Chicago, you know, you didn't need that. But now he finally gets, he finally gets the quarterback, and he, he's a fraction of what he used to be. But every all of the playmakers with San Francisco are all in their primes or approaching their primes. Debo's in his early to mid-20s. George Kittle, I think, just cracked 30. So he's on the slightly, I guess, for football, slightly on the other side of his athletic prime. Um, and also he gets injured a lot. But McCaffrey, in his, I think he's like 28 years old. Ayuk's like 24 or something like that. So if they choose, they can have this core for a while. Mm-hmm. If, like, we, we saw Travis Kelsey talking on his podcast with, with him and Jason about how it hit, hit recently the Chiefs just converted the rest of his salary for the rest of the year into a bonus. In anticipation for another move, you know, maybe Odell Beckham, maybe somebody else. He's not quite sure. But if you're the 49ers, this is a Super Bowl winning team. You already got to the Super Bowl once. Obviously, we know how that went. You got there with Garoppolo. You got there to the NFC Championship last year with Garoppolo. I'm not saying move off of Trey Lance, but this team is built to win with Garoppolo right now. And if you find a way to make it work financially with Debo, with McCaffrey, with Kittle, with uh, Trent Williams with Bosa with all these guys you're paying if you find a way to make it work financially I don't see any reason why you don't keep this team together and possibly win a Super Bowl this year and definitely be competitive for one for the next five years so the reason being is that uh, le- like we said so this team is built to win with Garoppolo but like alluding to what you said earlier Garoppolo isn't someone that's going to bring you back he's not going to be okay Team on my shoulders. We're driving down the field, scoring two, three touchdowns uh, to to end the game. No, he's the guy that's going to game manage you to uh, a nice seven to ten point lead. But then, it maybe it's Shanahan and his uh, non aggressive play calling. Maybe he doesn't believe in Garoppolo enough to call the aggressive shots late in the game when they're up. But that that is what good teams do to keep away. That's why the Bills, for so long, their only winning games were from two-score games. Uh, and, you know, to even go further, that's also why Kyle Shanahan lost 28-3. to uh, Or he or not 20. He didn't lose 28-3. to He lost his 28-3 to lead uh, when he was the offensive yeah. coordinator with, with Atlanta. He lost his lead uh, when he played Kansas City in the Super Bowl. He lost his lead last year in, in the NFC Championship game. So – what is it about – is it Garoppolo? Is it Kyle Shanahan? What is it that can get them over the top and stop blowing these leads? I don't know, but now they have a running back that you can get – you can just feed the ball to him every play when he gets – if you have a lead in the fourth quarter, we like Eli Mitchell. We like Jeff Wilson Jr. for them so far. And in years past, Raheem Mostert, uh, Matt Breida. There's these running backs that we've liked. But now you're handing the ball to a top five running back, arguably the best running back in the league when he stays healthy. That is definitely going to help when you're coming to the late game, the end of the game, and you have to run the clock down. You're trying to maintain, like I said, a seven to ten point lead because that's what that's what Garoppolo is. He's not he's not going to blow the the doors off of teams usually, but they'll be winning like twenty seven to to twenty twenty seven to seventeen. And I'm and personally, if I'm a 49ers fan. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's going to lead to some stressful moments, and you kind of shrug your shoulders at that. But 
as a fan, if I see, okay, we made the Super Bowl and then two years later we made the NFC Championship game on the doorstep of the Super Bowl again, and now he's at Christian McCaffrey, I'm very happy as a 49ers fan, and I'm very happy for the future of this team.